I realize, you know, if more people really get involved in what we're doing, we can save these young people. A titan, a powerful figure who stands out for greatness of achievement. Meet the giants in the Titans' journey in the Ministry of Sport and Community Development Community Sport Titan Series, a component of the SHEEP program. Introducing Sport Titan Rhonda Jones of La Hawketa, cricket coach, educator and community ambassador. My name is Rhonda Jones. I am a mother of two beautiful young ladies. Now young, well, I have the young adult just turned 18, so she feels she's bigger than the bigger one. Two grandchildren, one 10 and a five-year-old, a girl and a boy. And, uh, well, I'm so many things that happen in especially in my community. I'm an activist. Besides being a coach, I do drama. I am involved in, you name it, I am involved in it in my community. But my actual cricket and so on, the love, but my real passion is cricket. As I remember, it was about 10 or 11, and the men in the community would be playing and so on. I would go with my father, but that's the love of my life. I love my mother too, but he has a real, you know, it's a girl's for daddy, well, yes. So, went out with them and I was there with him, not knowing what skills and talents I may have been hiding all the time and just hidden, not unnoted yet. And one day I decided to be brave enough. I said, I want to take a bat, please. So when I started to bat and I hit the first ball, he was like, no ball, she's soft, you know, but she had him. And I remember hitting the ball and was like, but you could play the game. But when I went to Malik, you know, during the lunchtime, they would have inter classes stuff. Went downstairs at the end of watching, watching, still trying to make up my mind, eh? And then I said, look, I come into play. And from the time I started to hit that ball, I was in MV, MVP for the day. I had it natural. Batting a correct shot. You know, that kind of thing. I was always more into batting than bowling. That, is, that was me. I was the opening batsman, you see, I even got to laugh at and play in this game. So. When it came to my children, however, in the community, I didn't just say, well, because I love cricket, I would expose them only to cricket, no. My children played baseball. Michael Legerton, we have a baseball association of Trinidad and Tobago, if you don't know. Michael Legerton, you may know him, know him as protector. That Calypsonian, right. He, we said journey to the Savannah, there's a uh, setup for that. If not, you would come to my community, La Hokita, and I'm proud to be from La Hokita. I'm proud to say it. From La Vandel to La Hokita, I'm proud. So, we'll have the baseball. Panish John, who's one of the national rugby persons in the Caribbean, I think the world by now. She would come and do tag be with them, because every July, August, what I try to do is expose them to a different discipline. Basketball, the girls with netball, because I would fight for the facilities in my community. So right now as it is, we have a lot more facilities, right? We have the pavilions, we have the grounds. So much so that my group, LH Movers, right? Right, yes. Love and Harmony, let's bring together this the motto. We came together and we decided to put on our own pitch, cricket pitch. So we got permission from the corporation, of course, right? Raise our own funds and started running. Because at the end of the day, I have people now on the West Indies ladies team I have the young man was the youngest wicket keeper, Leonardo Julian, who just finished with the um, CPL. We have Kirsten Kalicharan, these are fellow young men that I would have worked with at primary level and through the community, cricket and that kind of thing. My real passion, I always said, was cricket, but I expose my youngsters to as many disciplines. We partner with nearly every single group in my community, be the council, the churches, other sporting groups, so that we can get that kind of synergy at the end of the day, listen to me, I alone can't do it. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the wilderness and I'm fighting against the tide, but I realize, you know, if more people really get involved in what we're doing, we can save these young people. In 2008, I was asked to manage a team to go to Argentina with under 15 young ladies, right? I was the manager. I worked along with um, the coach from Tobago, Miss Erica. And we had a chap run, Miss Eudora, right? And we, we worked as a real team. And we had 14 young ladies selected from a whole lot. They came out for trials and all of that. And we went to Argentina. And what I'm proud about, you know, these young ladies, having now some of them just getting into the actual game of hardball. Now, we're not windball now. I played a lot of windball, but I coached hardball cricket, which is the Red Bull as the Deaf Association I'm working with. They call it Red Bull. And going to Argentina, we won the Baymax Cup. And my 
girls represented the red, white, and black magnificently. Yes, we brought it back from Argentina. So these are some of the things I'm really proud of to say that at least the, whatever time I had to make a difference, I did it. Oh, by the way, that's my, one of my mantras. They call me mad, making a difference. I got an award, I remember, for best manager of um, a junior cricket team, some boys. Well, actually, I was the only female, let me go back a bit to it, the only female, and I'm proud to say it, in Trinidad and Tobago, that would take young men from the ages of seven to maybe 17. And he went to Trinidad and Tobago on a Sunday morning to play we had an inter-community kind of cricket. Take them one week in Tobago. Parents would send them willingly. We would rent a place. Then we play against teams in the big of course, beating them up for all. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes, yes. I'm proud of my young men. That's a lot of them did really well. Because I take my time. I love the younger ones. I take my time and coach them. Right? So a lot of the trophies you're seeing too. Yes, I would have gotten some from me being involved in stuff and the community, some of them the churches. They would say, you know, Ms. Jones have been doing so, so we'll honor Ms. Jones. Or through the council. All right? Or maybe sometimes just another group that I've given up time because I love to volunteer. I love to volunteer, I'm sorry. For the last 20 plus years, I've never charged my children a cent for cricket, and it's Mondays and Wednesdays. In terms of the umpiring, I'm a qualified umpire, right, West Indies. In terms of the coaching, level one, level two, West Indies, level one, level two, Australian. You understand? So don't worry, this lady knows what she's about. So a lot of people look at my size, and then when I start to perform a weight now, you're light on your feet. Do not judge a book by it, cover. Because when you start to read this book, you wouldn't want to put it down. You understand? You wouldn't want to put it down. Okay, when I tell people, I use that as my mantra, you could be in the place, but not of the place. And they say, Miss, what do you mean? So because everybody killing each other, you want to be killing? No, you could watch that and make a conscious decision to say, no, I am going to do different. And that's why I always talk about my little brother. So. I said that to say this now. I lost one to the gun 13 years ago this month, right? Yes. No, no, no. He got involved and he wanted, he didn't listen. He was only 21, but he lived a full life, eh? He lived a full life, but I'm showing you, my last little brother could have just gone that way, right? So you could be in the place, but not of it. Don't, let, don't get caught up with all the wilds and fancies because you're seeing maybe somebody got an easy money to hold, to hold a gun. Come by me, I'll show you how to hold a bat. I'll get somebody to teach you baseball. I'll get somebody to teach you maybe something else, whether it's dance, drama. Come by me. The Community Sport Titan Series is brought to you by the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. Remember to like, follow, and share the Titan's journey on social media.